Bueno, no tenía mucha intención de hacer esto, pero al final me he animado, entre otras cosas, por completar la historia y por gastar de una vez el, el último Insta80 que me dieron al comprar la última expansión. Así que nada, voy a hacer un personaje nuevo para cubrir la parte de historia. Hmm. La parte de historia de, de niveles 1 a 30. Y quiero hacer una ingeniera. Altura. Por ahí. La complexión. Ah, eso me vale. Piernas. Uh -huh. Esto seguramente lo acabe cambiando, pero creo que esto para ingeniería queda bastante majo. Esto es muy recargado y tal. Sí. Y es como ese. Colo... Ah, aquí están los colores también. Decoraciones. Vale, vale. Pues... Ahí, como los cristalitos que uso. Vale, y color del pelo... Así me vale. Vale, cara. Esto lo podéis notar otra vez. Bueno, esto está mola. Y a la vez esto me tiene un. Me gusta, venga. Vale, orejas, ah, suelo dejar color de ojos y esas cosas. Me deja elegir el color de ojos. Curioso. Vale, forma de las orejas. Creo que lo voy a tomar. No lo tengo. Esto es. Me con la pompa de la Vale. Pero eso me las quedo un poco finas. Sí, hacia arriba. Ahora voy a ver un poco. Ah, pero solo por los cortitos. Sí. Bueno, pues esto va a ir un poco. Esto creo que lo voy a dejar así. Ah, aquí está. Aquí. Pues vale, qué color te ponemos a ti. Me gusta. Oh, rosa tampoco es una cosa que se vea a menudo, ¿no? Venga, va, con esto. Esto ya paso de cambiarlo. Carrillos, la verdad es que quiero esto. Así que también lo voy a parar mucho. Este así. Tal vez así. Bueno, utilizo la página de la wiki de mi cuenta para tener en cuenta las elecciones que hago con el resto de antes para poder tener validad y tal. Eh, 
cuenta y mi otro ingeniero había elegido, vale, había elegido la mochila, así que no hay problema. Vale, te voy a poner uf, dignidad, ya lo puse con el otro y encanto con la otra, ¿verdad? Que esto al final, en las últimas historias, no se, no se utiliza para nada. Pero bueno, variedad. Esta iba a ser de dinámica, que es la que nunca vi. Y el primer invento fue... Vamos a ver qué había cogido con los otros. Este ya lo cogí. Y con el otro era el golem. Así que con esta toca el conversor. Vale, y aquí escogí Blip. Aquí escogí al viejo. Finger de magia. Y esta... Simpática, pero creo que voy a pillar cinca. Muy bien. Meca Nica. Me gusta. Oh. Pues como una acá. Aunque lleva confusión. I am Asura. I personify genius. My ancestors were driven from the heart of the earth. Forced to live in this bright, wide world. Of course, we've excelled. We exceed expectations in everything we do. With Gollum and Gate and Arcane Crystal, we have asserted our supremacy in this land and made it our own. We will not move another inch, not for dragons. Not for anyone. The eternal alchemy is a fluid contrivance, ever evolving, ever fluctuating. I believe in the power of transformation. I belong to the College of Dynamics. Dynamics crews thrive on permutation. We're always advancing, morphing into something new. I'm the lever, and my excellent crew is the fulcrum. Together we will move the world. We will force reason from chaos. I've just been informed that defective golems, not mine of course, are causing havoc out in the jungle. Whatever the imbeciles outside the city have broken, I'll fix and make my name doing so. I'll lead the masses through metamorphosis to an improved future. This is my story. Bueno. Esta parte del gameplay sí que la voy a hacer desde el nivel 1 sin utilizar el potenciador. Cuando termine de grabar será cuando lo aplique. Para tener esta casa de libro. Y hasta entonces, pues nada. Avanzar con calma. Bueno, ya no creo nada que me esto. out here unacceptable what's going on just what it looks like these golems have gone mad Zoja suspects someone tampered with them and by someone she means the inquest Zoja's rarely wrong don't tell her I said rarely by the way if it is the inquest she's going to need help where can I find her at the malfunctioning gate that's spitting out these deranged golems she claims she could feel them on the other side of the gate laughing at us not for long I'm going to help Zoja shut down the problem at its source. Thanks for the information. Just 
estoy pensando que si no recuerdo mal, después de la instancia, con el resto de historia continúa a partir del nivel 10, así que tendré que hacer una pequeña pausa en la grabación para subir los niveles antes de continuar. Pero bueno, creo que se quedará un poco más natural. She brought friends. Teo? Oh, for a second there, I thought someone dangerous was behind this. Oh, spare my tender feelings. It's true. I'm not dangerous. But these golems are. Here, let them show you what dangerous really means. <laughs> Hey, it's you again. I see you survived with your epidermis intact. Of course. Takes more than a giant rampaging inquest golem to get the better of me. Heh, <laughs> modest too. Well, you've earned a dash of praise if you ask me. The crews around the city would kill for the assistance of an inventor with your talents. You should ask around. Make yourself invaluable. Not a bad idea. Thanks. Así que voy a contar aquí. Bueno, antes de contar y juntar el resto, voy a hacer. Bueno, tengo que bancar, ¿no? Venga, lo hago desde aquí. Voy a gastar, que creo que tengo por aquí, un set de. Vamos a poner un poco más sobre este personaje. Vale, que pena los guays tenemos. No. Esto está simpático. Este también, la verdad. Está muy 
muy simpático también. Los que tienen reflejos molan. A ver qué los pienso. Vale, vale, vale. Te podría poner. Uh, ya tienes un rojo por ahí. <risa> vale. Venga, va, que le queda bien. ¡Vuela! Esto también está guapo. Vale, de vez en cuando dan objetos random en el login diario. Uy, esto está simpático. Y entre los que te pueden salir, está... Y esto también me mola. Joder, me molan bastantes. Entre los que pueden salir está el kit de, de peinados y demás. Que siempre tiene algunos exclusivos que te distingue un poco más de, del resto. No solo por el peinado en sí, sino también por los colores. Y... Venga, va, no sé. Y aquí no hay nada especial, ¿no? Pues ahora. Nos queda un poco más personalizada. Pues lo dicho, voy a subir los nivelillos estos que me piden para seguir la historia y luego sigo grabando. Vamos allá. Vale. He subido niveles. Aprovechando. Wow. No he contado con estos logros ahora. Vale, he subido niveles sin hacer nada de aquí. Simplemente he explorado esta capital. Y desde aquí al norte. Bueno, desde aquí al norte, que es donde están los teleports, he ido a Arco del León, le he explorado también al 100%, de Arco del León me fui a Holbrack, la he explorado al 100%, me fui también a la Ciudadela, la he explorado al 100%, y ni siquiera me hizo falta ir a la última capital, ah, miento, fui también a la Arboleda, que también la tengo al 100%. Y la de los humanos me la salté, porque ya me quedé casi al nivel 10. Y ahora con esos logros, pues ya me acaban de dar el nivel 10. Que con él, ya puedo seguir la historia personal. Que sería... Esto. Voy a coger las recompensas, porque no las había cogido. Las de subir nivel. tengo, sí. Perfecto. Y luego aquí un par de herramientas de recolección que según se me casquen voy a cambiar por las de ricalco. Y... Listo. Vamos a ver, una última cosa. Ah, todavía no puedo, es nivel 11. Ok. Pues nada. Ahora la historia personal me manda aquí adelante. Aprovechamos que el del raptor para llegar un poco más rápido. La historia de estos 30 niveles voy a intentar hacerla sin, sin mucha mentira. Para que sea lo más vanilla posible. Aunque la que grabé del 40 en adelante sí que la hice con monturas. Pero bueno, ahí me estaba centrando en la historia en sí. Más que en la experiencia. How about now, my little long-eared cherub? Is it working now? Not at all. And find another endearment. Cherubs are fat baby humans with freakish wings. I knew that, sweetheart. I just didn't know you knew. 
time's almost up. If you can't show the judges something soon, you'll be disqualified. Panic time! Our massively impressive golem isn't working, and the judges are waiting. It functioned perfectly back in the lab. I'm at a loss. Having the best pilot and the best pilot golem interface won't matter if it just stands there. I was sure we'd win. Snaff was a golem answer after all. Let me take a look. I know this baby like the schematics were tattooed on the inside of my eyelids. Every time I blink, it's a review session. Well, there's your problem. The MIG's capacitors are missing. Someone forgot to put them in. That's your job, Kaz. I pilot, you maintain. It's a good thing I love you so much, because I love you a little less each time your scatterbrain sets us back. <laughs> I love you too, my dulcet-toned honey viper. But I put the capacitors in. Someone must have swiped them, because I would not forget. Not after your last cheerful chastisement. Pitch woo on your own time. We must have left the capacitors in the Hydron Unit Lab staging area. Hurry! Retrieve those capacitors at once! Sure, I've heard of Snaff, but I still don't get why he gets a whole prize named after him. Because he was one of the greatest geniuses who ever lived, you empty-headed homunculus. He revolutionized Golemus. He blazed trails so brilliant, most people can't even see his footsteps, let alone follow in them. So, friend of yours, then. So much to what I want. But... Right there, you pusillanimous pinheads. That's our stuff. Was your stuff. Now it's ours. But don't worry. We'll leave you a beating in exchange. It's not showing off. Earned it. Cease and desist all hostilities. Now, what's going on here? These inquest poltroons snuck into our work area, sabotaged our massively impressive golem, and stole our equipment. Calumny and slander! We were called in to consult on a SNAF prize entry, and when we did, this blaggard attacked us. Now, now. Things get heated when a prize is on the line. Let's all just calm down, count to ten, and get back to work. No harm done, eh? No harm done. They vandalized our workspace and our MIG. That is a serious accusation. On behalf of the Arcane Council, I suggest you file a complaint after the contest is over. Off you go now. Off! I don't know if I'm going to be a competition or a concurs, but well. I was thinking about joining the inquest. They never let morality get in the way of progress. They'd never take you. You know what morality means. Hmm. You got the parts. I'll install them and we'll be ready to go. Embrace. Hey, you fixed it! Nice work. Now we can show off our improved Golem to Pilot interface. It's not as flashy as some entries, but it's revolutionary. The Snap Prize is as good as ours. Not if we don't hurry it up. They're waiting now. So get out there and strut our stuff. Out of my way. We've got a prize to win. Behold, 
a revolutionary leap forward in Gollum to pirate interfacing the massively impressive Gollum. The biomagical psionic mind link is two-way, instantaneous, and uninterruptible. Our pilot doesn't even need hands. She just has to think, and the Gollum responds. No more specialized training or hours of practice. Just hop in, think, and away you go. Yeah. Don't you wonder the problem is Every time I tried something similar, the pilot's brain got fried. Our breakthrough in Gollum interface dampening technology keeps the user's mind safe from harm. Well, it's not as eye-catching as Teo's floating Griswold. But your MIG is quite impressive. I've seen enough, Counselor. Our choice is clear. The invention that best embodies Snaf's legacy is the College of Dynamics MIG. I quite agree. Seamless integration of machine and user has been an unachievable goal. Until now. Well done. As far as I know, only the Inquest has ever had any success, and they have to brutalize sentient beings to achieve it. That was the most difficult challenge we faced. False modesty aside, our work here represents a quantum leap forward in Gollomancy. Which is why, on behalf of the judges, I'm pleased to award Ronk's crew the Snaff Prize. Let's all... Maybe it Eternal alchemy, what's that thing way. doing now? Gronk, we have a problem. Something's definitely wrong in there. Noxa, what's going on? It's no. not responding. It's malfunction. I mean, error. Arg! What's happening to me? Hey. So the winning entry was a crazed counselor killing Gollum. Well, if we disqualified every potentially lethal entry, there'd be no contestants left. But the MIG was sabotaged. Our entry was tampered with. I don't know why, but the inquest... Stop right there. Every time a stasis servo slips a gear, people blame inquest saboteurs. I'm sick of it. You just took the Snaff Prize. Learn to win gracefully. Instead of finding scapegoats for your own inadequacy, you should be tracking down and dismantling that amok golem you unleashed. And when you do, I'd love the chance to study it. Impressive work. Right on up to the point it started smashing things at random. That will soon be rectified. Back to the lab, crew. We can track the MIG from there. With a bit of luck, we can stop it before it does any serious damage. Muy bien. Uh, guantes. No, 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 Vamos por ahí otra cosa. Estoy pensando... Estoy pensando que me faltan las herramientas de reciclaje por aquí. Bueno, tengo estas. El resto ya lo ajustaré más adelante. Ok, y otro nivel. Vale. Y de momento tengo solo las raciales. El 7 va a ser. Y el 2 es similar, pero en la forma en la que estoy. Y es impulsos. Vale. Vamos a aquí. Vale, siguiente paso. Aquí.
prompts got us all set up. Well, mostly. Before we proceed, I want to make it clear. We won the SNAF prize, but we can't decide who gets the SNAF savant title until we recover Doxa and the MIG. Now then, I just finished calibrating my Aetheric Harmonizer for the tracking device in the MIG. Once we activate it, it'll pinpoint Doxa's location. Then what are we waiting for? I, I mean, please, sir, let's activate it right away. I'm worried about Doxa. I can see that, but I'm worried that your personal concerns are distracting you. The startup sequence is more complicated than flipping a switch, you know. Ergo, I want you on the harmonizer core to make sure the apparatus doesn't overload while your crewmate here fires it up. Consider it done, sir. Kaz isn't the only one who needs Doxa back. She's funny, and without her, our productivity has dropped by 43%. Note which console fires in what order, then repeat the sequence by interacting with the consoles. Okay, you've got basic motor function and eye-hand coordination down. Now, it's time. Brace yourself. This last one is going to knock you flat. It's working. It's working perfectly. And the signal appears to be close. The signal is moving. In fact, it's getting closer. In fact, it's headed right for us. Wait, this can't be right. It says the signal is coming from right behind that wall. Access granted. Never capitulate. Doctor, what are you doing? 
Did you hear that? Doxa was in there calling for me. But why was she so out of control, so destructive? Her mind has been fused with the MiG's command protocols. She's confused, in pain, and struggling to adjust to a whole new consciousness. I'd say that's also why she went berserk at the demonstration. The initial shock must have been painful. I hate to say it, but getting her out will be tricky. A definite understatement. I've reviewed reams of recovered inquest records, and according to them, no one has ever been unfused from a golem. I'm sorry, Kaz, but Doxa may already be dead. Those words you heard could just be echoes of her former self. Don't panic yet. Zoja is the foremost authority on golems in the world, and she already stated her interest in the MiG. If anyone can help, it's her. Perhaps there's hope, then. I know Zoja's doing some work at the Incom Optics Lab outside the city. You'd better follow up with her in person. I'm ready. Please, for Dox's sake, let's talk to Zoja right away. Now, what's next? Okay. Vale, y un aprendizaje. No, podría empezar realmente. No, porque hace falta nivel 80, ¿vale? Ah, nivel 80 ya lo he subido todo. Vale, tiene sentido. ¿Qué voy a hacer con esta tía? Torretas. O dispositivos. No me gusta y elixires. Ah, venga, torretas. Y me da esta cacharrada. Esto es mejor Y el guijarro No lo voy a equipar que voy, voy a cambiar muy rápido Así que nada vale. Salimos Y al siguiente paso Get inside. Zoja is waiting, and Doxa needs her help.
we're set to go. I've cleared the lab so we'll have the space and privacy we need, and also so no random observers get killed. I'd love to solve this problem for you. The MIG is so promising. Almost up to SNAF standards. Sorry, back to business. Diagnostic examination. This lab is the perfect place to run a full battery of tests. There's good equipment here, and more importantly, it's not mine. So I won't care if it gets destroyed. I'm not entirely sure about this. Will the process hurt? Of course not. Golems don't feel... Well, they don't usually feel pain. This may be a special case, though. We'll just have to forge ahead. I suppose we could ask the inquest. They do fusions like this all the time, usually with people they don't like, which is a pretty long list. No thanks. We set out to find an alternative to the inquest method. We don't need more data on sacrificing sentient beings to improve Gollum control. A wise decision. Now let's sort out this Doxa situation. Entity under consideration. Greetings, Error. Recognition. My schedule is absolutely packed, or else I'd be there to murder you in person. Well, well, the walking joke is making jokes. Tell me, Tails, how did you access these systems? We're the inquest. We can do anything we want to with no talent bikers like you. But I'm not virtually here to banter. Minions, bring the MIG back to the funhouse. And just to cement the fact that all your golems belong to us. Golems, initiate security override 27. <laughs> Authorization code, Soja is a fake. Get her! I'd like to lodge a formal complaint, Zoja. The examination prospectus you provided never mentioned explosions, fires, or hacked golems. Better get used to it. All that's just a prelude to what's in store if we keep crossing paths with the inquest. Which we will, because Teo clearly wants the MIG, and we want their know-how on fusing sentient souls to golems. Will that help? I mean, Doxa seems calm enough now, so she's adjusting to her new situation. Inquest machinery could just drive her mad again. That's a risk we have to take. If we don't separate her soon, she won't be Doxa anymore. We need to access the Inquest lab known as the Fun House. The Inquest's data, combined with my expertise, gives us a chance. A statistically small chance, but that's better than what she has if we do nothing. All right then, let's head to the Fun House. Though somehow, I doubt it'll be much fun for anyone involved. No 
Siguiente paso. Ahí arriba. Lead the way. I just hope we find the device in time to save Doxa. Unbound by morality, with a heaping helping of jerk. Coño Zoya, qué bajita eres. Take 
Nemesis. Now let's see how much pain Never capitulate. Defensive protocols suspended. Careful, those generators keep the holding cells. The barrier's down. Let's go. Smash little Entonces te imagino que al estar en instancia no lo puedo pillar, ¿no? Correcto. Vale. Wait, this won't work. You saw the lab full of failures in there. The inquest golems were out of control, dangerous, more golem than pilot. I think this recursive feedback device only fuses people to golems. I don't think it can extract a person from one. Can we repurpose it? Make it do what we want? If we do nothing, we could lose her entirely. We have to try. That may kill her anyway. There is another option. We use the inquest device to put me inside another golem. Then at least Doxa and I can be together. That's crazy. You could both die or have your personalities totally subsumed. Then you just watch helplessly as your golem bodies go bonkers. It's worth it. For her. She's everything to me. Listen, I know I'm not thinking clearly here. You're our friend, our crewmate. And I trust you. I need your input. Should we try to extract Doxa and maybe kill her? Or fuse me with a golem and maybe kill us both? Vamos a ver, que sobreviva uno o los dos. Frente a que sobrevivan los dos o ninguno. Pues creo que voy a tomar la decisión de hacer la primera opción. Lo siento, Kaz. Y si no va bien, quien siga mis pasos tomaremos a la vida. Estamos estallando la acción. Está traducido muy raro esto. Más adelante nos sigo tocando, pero aquí. Bueno, vaya, cuéntame. Vale, sí. Muy bien, sí. Voy a escopeta esto aquí.
aquí lo que estoy aquí por dentro y no hay nada que me mejore vale recuperar todo guarda está calcado ya, no sé vale muy bien y última misión de este capítulo pero antes de hacerla estoy pensando que voy a hablar con estos dos exploradores para ir avanzando esto de aquí Everything has a place in the eternal alchemy. The marsh north of Soren Dry is remarkably tumultuous. Senior researcher Shun and his salvage crew clash with the inquest as they race to unearth an artifact at the old Gollum foundry site. Across the river from the old Gollum foundry, the Brill Alliance crew has begun researching Skrit, who make for troublesome, uncooperative test subjects. These crews can always use extra hands. Vale. Y ahora se está rompiendo la otra. ¿Por qué asumo que es una mujer? Esto era por aquí. No, por ahí. Welcome to Metrica Province. You'll find private laboratories all over where our crews work on dangerous research. And we pay the price for excellence. Labs need to be carefully maintained, but I'm sure that's not news to you. We see a fair bit of interference from the Inquest. They're envious of our advances and covered our research materials. Our researchers could use someone with your talents. On your journey, you may also encounter nefarious events in the world. Don't let these opportunities pass by you. Jump in and help! As you gad about, you'll encounter our Magi Matter transportive devices, more commonly known as waypoints. They're mini gates that, for a trivial fee, transport you across great distances. They're the second most convenient way to travel next to our gates. Vale. Me imagino que será la ciudad, ¿no? Correcto. No way the etheric filtering could process that much energy. I hear someone's trying to improve on Asura gates. As if that were possible. If it's not broken, you're not in it. Work? Do we have a chance? Yes, my simulations result in an 86% probability of success, but this is inquest territory. They don't care about their test subjects, and they focus on fusing rather than unfusing. Still, 86% is nothing to sneeze at. The modifications we made should do the trick. It's time to test that theory. We're ready to start the extraction process. All we need to do is throw the switch and activate the extractor now. Interact protocol. I hear noises and see light, but what does it all mean? Is it working? The machines are working. As for the overall process, we'll see soon enough. Buka Come on, it's the inquest. Don't let them interrupt the extraction process. Ya 
out the extraction process. There's the power. Keep them in bed just a little while longer. Loved one, Kaz. This unit thanks you for your assistance. <laughs> <laughs> I had you going there, didn't I? I'm fine, and my sense of humor is definitely intact. Plagiarists! Saboteurs! That's Inquest property. I've come to shame you into giving it back. Oh, and snuff you all for stealing it. You couldn't snuff a sputtering candle. And before I forget, plagiarists, saboteurs coming from you in the inquest? That's hilarious. You broke into our facility to steal our research for a golem design you also stole. What would you call it? We'd call it saving our friend. I'll answer for stealing your tech when you answer for using it to commit atrocities. What do you say, Teo? Shall we all go before the Arcane Council and see whose Golem Fusion project is most objectionable? Hmm. No deal. I guess I'll just have to take back what's mine and eliminate all you witnesses. Well done, crew. We saved Doxa and beat the inquest at its own game. I've never been so proud. Everyone gets an extra hour for lunch tomorrow. That's generous, sir, but I think Doxa and Kaz may need more time than that. They've been through a lot. Don't worry, though. I'll cover their duties. Thanks for that. I feel like I could sleep for a year. And whenever I try to think, I still hear a metallic voice in my head that says, Working. It could be worse. If things had gone differently, you could have been reduced to a voice in the MIG's head. And then who would keep me honest? Go on, you two. Enjoy some downtime. I'll keep things running smoothly until you're ready to return. Before we let these lovers go, we still have to decide who gets the title Snaff Prize Savant. I can't see anyone objecting to it being you. You were instrumental in constructing the MIG and in getting Doxa out of it. Any objections? No? Good. Wear your title with pride. You've earned it. Congratulations, Savant. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Standouts like you are worth watching and worth putting to work. See you soon. Well, Capitulo 1 completed. Si no cambiaron esto, el capítulo 2 requeriría llegar a nivel 20, cosa que no voy a grabar, 
igual que no grabé como subió hasta el nivel 10. Pero se indicará que subí de nivel aprovechando los logros nuevos. Que se hacen bastante fácil, dan bastante experiencia y se hacen fácilmente mientras exploras. Hacer eventos. Uh. No sé cómo sería esto. Ah, hemos te visto. Amenazar visualmente. Oh, sí, yes. vale, Dan bastante experiencia, como se puede ver ahí abajo. Y hay un face de ellos, o sea que da bien para subir nivel. Entonces, completaré este. Me imagino que eso ya me dejará bastante cerca del nivel 20. Y si no, con este también. Y poco más. Ah, mola, los antes no lo daban. Esto mola también. Eh, esto mola también. Y vamos a abrir el cofre. Vale, materiales, una estatuilla. Esto que no sé bien para qué vale. Ah, paso fire. No, vale. Ah, y eso también me da experiencia. Vale, tintes de la llama, me dan uno al azar, este ya lo tengo para vender. Vale. Y reciclamos el resto de chatarra. Y así quedamos. es que me hacen gracia para estas misiones fáciles aturdir tres segundos siempre, siempre me parece muy bestia y la alternativa es confundir a varios además y esta causa claro, confusión y resolución y hace daño robando una bendición y dándole una condición mía no te vale. con el de tonta. Vale, y hasta aquí por hoy. Otro día seguimos con el capítulo 2.